When working with nerve geometry in Rhino, it is easy to place roads on a surface, even on a double curved surface like this one. We will use GIS data to construct the road curves, then project the curves onto the terrain, and finally add a few details. These curves mark the midpoint of the road. I'll start by selecting a few curves and cover them to a new layer. Now, I measure the width of the road using the distance command. Let's join the curves to clean things up a bit. Next, I offset the curve by half the width of the road. If I toggle both sides, the curve will be offset on both sides, resulting in the full width of the road. Make sure cap is set to flat, so the offset curves are connected at the ends. Now just offset the curves and trim away the unwanted parts. Join the curves again to clean things up. If there's a kink on the curve, you can move individual points to straighten out the curve. Points are toggled on by the F10 key and off by F11. In order to protect the curves on the surface, we need to move the curves above the terrain. In top view, use a project command to project the curves onto the surface below. Hide or delete the original curves. With a split command, you can split the road from the terrain, just like a cookie cutter. We need to work on the road geometry, so just hide the terrain. By moving the road geometry some 10 cm down, we make a difference between the road and the surrounding terrain. If you feel like, you can of course fill it the corners of the road, but please do this before projecting the curves. Now duplicate the border of the road geometry. Select the lower and the upper curve and do a loft. Repeat this for the rest of the curves.
unhide the terrain and the road surface to see the results. It looks like the geometry is filled with gaps. This is because the nerve geometry is converted into a polygon mesh for a viewport display. The mesh is simply not dense enough. Increase the mesh density from the document properties. Click the mesh settings, then custom, and change the maximum edge length to a value of 2. This means that no edge in the geometry will be longer than 2 meters, resulting in a denser mesh without any gaps.